Hello, Kansas City. I am Charles Gooch, the Full 90 blogger for the Kansas City Star. I'm joined by Sam McDowell, who's the beat reporter for Sporting Kansas City. And we're here to talk a little bit about um, Sporting Kansas City, but particularly we're here to talk about uh, Christian Namath, uh, the breakout Hungarian striker uh, for Sporting Kansas City. He's been one of the revelations of the year so far. Uh, in Major League Soccer, and if it weren't for um, a guy like Javinka with Toronto FC, probably would be one of the most talked about players right now. Uh, he's got six goals, uh, two assists. Uh, he's coming off a game this weekend against FC Dallas where he basically ran the show uh, against FC Dallas. He had a goal, he had an assist, he had about three ooh moments where the crowd kind of lost it when he did a little shoulder turn. Uh, and he also earned two yellow cards on Zach Lloyd that uh, helped uh, earn Kansas City a man advantage, which I think should count in his stat line somewhere. Um, you know, so. What has made uh, Namath such a such a key figure for this team? And you know, obviously, the the other news here is that he's he's been so good that he's been called up to the Hungarian national team, uh, and he's going to miss this weekend's game, and he's going to miss, or he's not probably going to miss another game, but uh, he'll be away for the June fifth and June thirteenth uh, to to play with uh, Hungary. So, what's made him so good this year? I think that you know it, it's his combination with with his teammates right now. I think the thing that stands out to me most about about Namath is. You know the way his teammates marvel at the the way they like to play with him. You know, I, I asked Benny about that uh, last week, and he said, "I love playing with Christian." And just, you know, to have respect like that from your teammates in such a short amount of time to to blend into a system that a lot of guys takes a lot more time to blend, Benny included. I think uh, that's what stands out most about the way he's playing right now. Yeah, he's um, he's he's seamlessly kind of fit into this team in a couple of different spots. He's played. At the beginning of the season, he played as sort of an attacking midfielder mm -hmm. uh, right behind Dom Dwyer. He's played on the left wing and the right wing. Uh, and the last couple games with Dom Dwyer injured, um, he's played as the center forward, which Peter Vermes claims is is more of his natural position. Right. Um, well, you know, this weekend, Kansas City's going to have a little bit of a difficult task because not only is Namath going to be gone, but it appears that Dom Dwyer is probably going to be hurt and miss, and miss this weekend as well. Yeah, he, he's been training on the side with, you know, absent from, from the, the full training with his teammates so that's usually the first step toward coming back but it, it you know he's got another step to take and I think he'll miss Saturday which will leave them with, without you know a true central forward on the roster really um, you know so where do they turn I think maybe even the Graham Zussi could play up there um, you know possibly Connor Hallisey he, he showed really well in his first start on Saturday but you know he's playing in that wing position so that's going to leave them, uh, you know, a little bit shorthanded pulling one of those guys out. You know, that leaves your wing spots more shorthanded because Christian's a guy you'd play there. Yes. So, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what they do, but I would suspect uh, Zussi might be the first choice there. Well, they won't have the guy who played as the third choice striker uh, during preseason, Jacob Peterson, because he's also, he's also hurt too. So, yeah, and so likely you're, out. So yeah. you're down all three of your quote-unquote forwards. I mean, you could see you could see this be a game for maybe James Ansu Rogers, who was their other draft pick who hasn't played so far yet this year. Right. But was a forward and has played a little bit uh, in, in preseason. Um, you know, one of the things that has impressed me the most about Namath is is just his his. You know, I, I mentioned it a second ago about his versatility. You know, when he's out on the wing, he looks like a he looks like a winger. You know, uh -huh. he, he attacks fullbacks. He makes he makes very interesting runs into the box and makes a nice secondary option playing off of Dom Dwyer. And as we saw this past weekend, he's also a pretty good guy holding the ball up and doing a lot of work. Uh, ahead of time to kind of post up his defender and kind of set the defender up for a move. Um, without when when Dwyer and, and and Namath are both healthy, do they continue with Namath on the wing, Dwyer at center forward? Do they share time? Do they split time? Is it sort of a you, know, you pick the horse for the different race? You know, it's like do you do you put Namath in against some teams, Dwyer in against others? I mean, how, how do you think Peter Vermes is going to juggle this up a little bit? One, of, I think one of the reasons that, that Christian's so versatile is simply just because Vermes wants to get him on the field in some capacity, just because he's been that impressive. Uh, going forward, I think we'll see a lot of what we saw most of the season, which is. Dom at central forward and Christian on the wing. Uh, obviously, Christian showed very well on Saturday, you know, in the, in the, in the win. So, um, you know, they like what they saw from him. That is his natural position at central forward. But they have a lot more options, I think, when you put Dom at central forward and, and keep Christian on the wing. You know, Christian's a good passer, too. So as much as he can score, he's got some elements there in his passing that, that gives you, you know, some more looks from to toward a defense when you put him on the wing. So I think that's what we're going to see more of. And, and as we saw a little bit in the road against uh, against Seattle uh, two weeks ago, um, he d he did struggle sometimes without having anybody there to help him. He's not he's not yeah. a guy like Dom Dwyer who can 
create his own offense uh, out of almost nothing, which is something mm -hmm. that Dom Dwyer has kind of made his living on over over the last year and a half. And and Dom's, de you know, Dom kind of starts the way they play press on defense as well, with the way that he hustles and just the tenacity he sort of brings to that position. So I think that's an element to that position that they don't really want to lose. Yeah, and if you and if you did use Namath, you're sort of if you put him in that role, you're sort of taking away what makes him what makes him so so strong in that lineup. Yeah, and it's uh, at that point, it's where are you going to put Dom? You know, you don't want to put Dom on the bench. He he does give you a lot of options there. So of what this different stuff he can do, like I mentioned with the way he presses, you know, the way he can score goals. And obviously he's missed some chances th this season, but the team's pretty confident and, and not really concerned that, that Dom's going to start finishing a lot Yeah, more. I mean, Dom Dwyer's your, your, the, the leading goal scorer in Kansas City history right. in a single season, set the record last year. I mean, this year, uh, Namath has kind of picked up a little bit of that slack. Uh, Dom has struggled just a little bit, but, you know, Dom still has four goals and an assist. Namath has six goals and two assists. So yeah. I think you'll take that from your pairing. And, and you know, another thing uh, to, to keep in mind injury-wise is that the trio of Zussi, Namath, and, and Dwyer, the three we're talking about, ha have not played very often together. Yeah, right. um, whenever Namath and Dwyer were healthy, Zussi was hurt. Now that now Zussi is healthy, Namath and, and Dwyer are, are both out. So yeah. um, at at some point, all of them will, will get healthy again. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing is uh, Namath has blended in so well, and he hasn't been playing with a lot of the guys he's currently playing with that often. So once, but Graham's a guy that plays well with, with you know, blends his style to where other guys play. He gets a pretty quick feel for how guys like to play. Um, well, I mean, I guess that's it for us. I mean, we talked about Namath, we talked about Dwyer, we talked about um, Graham Zussi. We didn't really have a lot of time for Connor Hallisey, who showed up well. Do you think Hallisey is going to factor into this mixture going forward at, I, based off of one game? Yeah, I think that he's factoring in already more than the coaching staff had originally planned. You know, they kind of thought he was more of a long-term guy, uh, which he still is in the long-term plans, of course. But he's just, you know shown so well during training that it's like they feel like they have to give him some playing time. He's kind of forcing himself onto the exactly, field. Exactly, exactly. Which, you know, it's something that Peter Vermes really likes, out of, especially out of rookies. Yeah. Uh, that's, why he, that's what he appreciated out of CJ Sapong a few years ago and Teal Bunbury as well. Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much for joining us. I've been Charles Gooch. You can follow me at the full 90 uh, at and Kansas City Star. You can follow Sam McDowell at at Sam McDowell 11 on Twitter. One of these days I'll learn that. Uh, you can also go to the Apple Store and go to the Android Store. You can download Extra Time KC, which is the Kansas City Stars app. It's got everything you want to know from Sporting Kansas City, FC Kansas City. We even had a couple of set bladder things with the uh, whole FIFA investigation that was breaking, and you can get those delivered to your phone. So thank you for joining us. Until next time, bye.